Hello everyone, welcome to Pathways Redux. This is a single player adventure slash mod made for Doom 3 and released in 2004. It's made by Brendan Chung from Blendo Games. I actually stumbled upon it when I was looking on the Blendo Games website for Expat, a game that I played very recently. And there's a whole section on the website for older projects made by Brendan Chung, and this is one of them. I think there's something interesting about going really far back into developers' history, in this case, 10 years, and just seeing what they made in their early days, you know? It's pretty cool. And Pathways Redux is actually an ode to Pathways Into Darkness, a game released in 1993 by Bungie Studios. I've never actually played it, by the way, so I can't offer any perspective of how it compares, or what the original game was even about that this is based on. But there you go. It's of course completely free, I'll have a link in the description where you can check it out for yourself, although you do have to own a copy of Doom 3 to play it, since it is a mod. Alright, let's begin. New game. I like these little images here. The gods smile shyly down on you. Or, the weight of the world rests upon your shoulders. Uh, let's go with Intrepid. Because I played for a little bit on normal and it seemed very easy, so let's go with a little bit more of a difficult one. Eight thousand meters. There we go. Last name, first name. That's <laughs> so cool the way that kind of the text just kind of gets put into its place. It's very cool looking. Okay, you're probably wondering what the story is about. Well, you will know very, very soon. Top secret. Code as follows. Blah blah blah. The following special forces soldiers are being placed on Bravo Kappa status. The names are. And among them, I am one out of eight. May 8th, 1994. The beginning is so cool. So you try to pull your parachute. But it doesn't work. I love that beginning. Uh, that was close. There's something very powerful about starting starting out falling from the sky. And what's more terrifying than having your parachutes malfunction? Thankfully though, it looks like one of them activated. Let's go ahead and pull the release. Ah, there we go. Of course, it is a Doom mod, so I awkwardly have my fists out, ready to punch at anything and everything. Alright, so what is the story, you ask? You're about to find out. Here we go. Office of the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. On May 5th, 1994, the President's senior military staff meeting was interrupted by an alien message. The Jaro diplomat told them they had eight days to save the world. In the Yucatan Peninsula is a pyramid built above an ancient crater. Miles beneath the pyramid sleeps a godlike entity. It awakens in a matter of days. Though the god cannot be killed, its awakening may be prevented. A low-yield nuclear device must be planted and detonated in the lowest point of the pyramid tunnels. The assault team will paradrop into the Yucatan shortly after 200 hours on May 8th. The sleeping god will awaken sometime in the afternoon of May 13th, giving the team five days to infiltrate the pyramid and activate the nuclear detonation. The Jaro have provided information on the pyramid and the catacombs below it. Compilers have entered this data into your personal data assistant. We need not remind you the importance of this mission. Good luck. Ground floor. Elevation. Zero meters. That's such a cool beginning. Falling through the sky on a mission to stop an ancient god from awakening with a nuclear device. How freaking cool is that? Alright, let's take a look at the PDA. Good old PDA. So there's a bunch of stuff here. 
Uh, actually, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of history and a lot of information about what's going on. And I want to show some of it. <laughs> there's even an about. Personal Data Assistant. Copyright 1992, Clockbride Inc. Nice little details like that. And then there's your inventory and stuff. You can even set the desktop color. Let's make it gray. I'm going to look a little bit more into this in just a minute. Let's continue on for a little bit, though. This place is alive. But not just with machinery. Oh no. I like this part. You see these spikes raise up? And if you look behind you, there's no way back. I wonder what's powering this machinery. It's massive. Okay, so now I want to take a look at the PDA. Because I was reading a bit of it before I continued playing. I've only played this for like 5 or 10 minutes. But I was reading a bit of it. And I came across this body, and I made a really cool connection to the stuff I'd read in the PDA, so let me show you what's up with that. Alright, so the Pentagon letter, let's see, that's what we just read, right? Yeah, that's what we just read, that's the introduction to what's happening. And there's the timetable. I like all these details, too. It's very cool to read this stuff. It makes it feel more like an actual mission and something I'm actually doing, and not just like a, a random map where you run around and shoot stuff. Makes it more believable. So May 8th, Lee Ford Bragg via C-151 transport plane. And then paradrop into Yucatan Pyramid Site, which is what we just did. Apparently on this timetable, I'm supposed to reach the lower catacombs tomorrow and arm the nuclear device timer. And then the day after, exit, activate it, completely leave, and blow it up. The sleeping god awakens in the afternoon of May 13th. It's imperative the nuclear device is planted and detonated before this time. Upon exiting the pyramid, one of the any of the three radio beacons will signal the extraction team helicopters. Thirty minutes must be given for the helicopters to arrive. Another thirty minutes must be allowed uh, allotted to reach a minimum safe distance from the nuclear explosion. All right, that is my mission. That is my timetable. Okay, so this is the cool part: the history, the history of this place, of these pyramids and this jungle. Some really cool stuff here. So, to talk specifically about the uh, Nazi that we just saw on the ground there. The German soldier. So if you look at this. The supposed invasion of California and Texas was but a ruse. Such are the foibles of historical hindsight. In the midst of World War II, a squad of 18 Nazi soldiers left Berlin and headed towards South America. Intelligence reports speculated their purpose was to train insurgents in Mexico. Instead, the squad headed into the heart of the Yucatan jungle and never returned. The Lost 18 is a favorite subject among World War II historians. It has been gathered the squad was ordered to find a pyramid deep within the Yucatan. The motive for finding this pyramid remains hazy, the only clue being a precious few intercepted telegrams which mention the words secret weapon. Natural train of thought leads one to believe the Lost 18's mission was another example of the Nazi interest of the supernatural. This theory would fall in line with their search for the Ark of the Covenant, the Spear of Destiny, the Holy Grail, the Wolfenstein Incident, and the Emperor's Tomb. <laughs> Though common consensus states there were 18 soldiers, it is commonly argued there were 19. Hmm. So yeah, you can actually read about this expedition of 
of 18 or I suppose maybe 19 Nazi soldiers into the Yucatan jungle and well what do you know here's one of their bodies how cool is that that's so cool. So it's not just a random body on the ground, you know, it actually has a place. There's a reason it's here. There's something about that that's just really cool. Okay, I don't want to look at everything in here. But uh, just to look at a couple other things, there's actually a lot of detail about your equipment. And the reason, by the way, why I picked up my weapons back uh, when I first dropped down, but I couldn't actually equip them and use them, is because they are broken. So if you look here extensive descriptions for everything. Yeah, so they're broken. The weapon was damaged during the parachute fall. Its muzzle is bent just enough to render it useless. Same for the pistol. Actually, wait, no, no. Oh, no, never mind. The pistol's fine. It's just that uh, my ammo was gone. And now that I just picked up ammo, I can actually use it. So there's a lot of detail in the PDA. It's very cool. Not quite sure what these other ones are about because I have not read them yet. These just seem randomly named. 03031.wrk? Oh, this is about the, uh, the Jaro, which are the aliens, right? That ones, the ones that gave us the message about the Awakening God. Okay, well, I think I will, if I can remember, I will read these, but let's spread them out. Let's not read them all at one time. I'm pressing the quick save button, but it doesn't seem to be working. Let's do this instead. Oh wait, maybe it did work. And it just didn't tell me? I don't know. Sure. I, ah, whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> this up here? What was that? Oh. It's a giblet, or a giblet. Yeah. I'm not alone down here. Now, I believe that's actually where you're supposed to go, and I'm not sure what's this way, because I never did go this way. Mazapan. Mazapan? Marzapan. Home Sar. I wonder if I could maybe translate this stuff at some point. Strobada. Wait, there's nothing in my PDA about translating, is there? I don't believe so. Some sort of a dictionary thing? No, it doesn't seem like it. Never stop firing. Okay, I thought the other way was the way I was supposed to go, because that's the way I went before when I was playing. So maybe there's multiple pathways? Because I've never been this way. Mein Kampf. Well, don't think I want to read that. Can you actually read it? Where would it be? Hmm. Original copy of Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. Given the gravity of the task at hand and your lack of any knowledge of German, it probably wouldn't make very good reading at the moment. Indeed. Yeah, I don't really feel like reading about your struggle, because I kind of have my own to deal with. One involving bloody pentagrams and awakening gods and nuclear devices. What the fuck? Sealed mortar bull? Iron bull, iron bull, iron tongs. Whoa, yellow crystal, I can touch this. Prayer block. Yeah, look at how detailed the environment is. Clay jar, everything's got its own description. I really want to translate this. Yogg Sagoth, 
Ahu Nama, Gaagatha, Agdru Jahad, Niktu Varada. You know, I feel like when I get to the end of this, I'm going to, like, put a curse on my entire family for the rest of my life. You know, one of those things that, like, that forms the basis of a horror movie. Anung Anrama, Isht Haborim, Hago Kabath, Rabazel. Rubazol, something like that. Rubazol. Rubazol. Sounds like a dissolvable tablet you put in water to solve stomach aches or something. Rubazol. Anyway, what does this thing do? Ah, I picked it up. You can now talk to the... What? You can now talk to the dead. Uh... Okay. Tell me more. Oh, it automatically translates it. Oh, sweet. I'm not sure how that's talking with the dead, but whatever. This is so cool. And within the tree were they... Wait, what? Wait, the top one doesn't even seem like it's translated. Yog Zagoth. Anyway, and within the tree were they were protected. What? Four legs removed, but the tortoise was not swayed. He rode upon a, sh a cherub and did fly. Yeah, he did fly. Through a circle returneth to the self same spot. Must cultivate our garden. In the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low. The hell? A beta trap in the sea of monsters, so saith the speaker of the dead. Did I read that in the wrong order? Because that did not seem comprehensible. Okay, well, you're dead. Can I talk with you? I, I can? What the hell? What is this going to do? Holy shit, this is awesome. I had no idea you could do this. Uh, how, how does this work? Claude is dead now. He wants you to leave. Well, of course he's dead. He's a freaking skeleton. <laughs> A specter got so close to me I could hardly see. It was cold and dark, just like now. I was already wounded. Okay, so you mouse over whichever option you want to go with? Okay, cold and dark. Don't make me think about it. It's one of the few things I do remember, and it was horrible. Wounded. I got hurt badly a few minutes before the specter got me. We were ambushed by headless creatures, and three of them surrounded me. This is so cool. Okay. Uh, bye. I had no idea you could no idea you could do that. I wonder if you can go the entire game without even like. What if you just didn't go up here? Would you go the entire game not knowing you could speak to the dead and read these things? The house shuddered and collapsed, and the little people quickly discovered they were disappearing into a swirl of leaves. Nothing seemed to hurt the shades. Bullets, knives, grenades. I ran as far as I could, wounded, but finally died here. Knives. Our machetes worked great on the headless creatures, and we saved bullets by killing them that way, but blades didn't hurt the shades. The grenades worked great on the headless creatures, but we only had about 30 of them, and we used them too fast. My name is Hans. I think I remember being called Hans. Muller called them Shades. Who's Muller? Muller, damn him. This is all his fault. I'm sure he's dead. Somewhere. He called them Shades because he can see through them. Like they're just shadows. They have four glowing green eyes. If you see one, run as fast as you can. There's a chilling moment when they scream and your vision flickers and you wonder if you're going to die. We never found a way to kill them. I guess that's going to be left up to me, isn't it? And apparently bullets nor grenades work. Perhaps the crystal I have can help. Shortcut. Sealed hatch B. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. what did this say? What's happening? Who are you? What are you? Am I dead? Where am I? My name? I... 
I don't remember my name. I can see my face in a mirror, shaving in the jungle this morning, before we broke camp and came here, but I don't remember my name. Let's not talk about the jungle. We camped a few miles away. That was my last night outside. A molar shot me in the back because I wouldn't follow him through this hatch, but he didn't come back. He got what he deserved. Muller was our captain, an ugly short little man, totally devoted to our country, a real bastard. He shot me twice in the back. We were all from Germany. Muller had some strange musical instrument he brought from Germany. When he played it on that rune in the middle of the floor, these two locked hatches opened. Hmm, I didn't see it for long, but it was bizarre. It was a bizarre brass device covered with a green cloth. Weird. Rune. That strange drawing on the floor. Okay, so if I can find the musical instrument, I can apparently open up these hatches. It's probably where I need to go. That is incredibly cool. You know, I mean, it is a Doom mod, so there's a certain amount of kind of silly action that it has. You have guns, you shoot a bunch of stuff. Elevation 2.7 meters. You know, there's a certain amount of silliness to it, but at the same time, there's also an incredible amount of world building and detail here, and just general creepiness. It's near. I just wish the damn flashlight didn't point down so much when I walked forwards. I have to, like, look up just so I can see in front of me. Jelly sack. It's rather humanoid shaped, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit of a maze. The Eastern Goddess bore ten sons. Cursing one to do the work of ten. Interesting, it's it's not S-O-N-S, -S, it's S-U-N-S, -S, sons, as in like, burning sun in the sky. But talking about boring them as if they're children. Heavily, heavenly bringers of ash and flame. True aim burning out the light of nine. From the west arrived a nine-arrow archer, scorching the earth a starving hue. Not sure about the right order to read those in. Hi. Oh yeah, there's a zoom in function. Woo! Heavy shovel. Huh. Is this board lead somewhere? That I can jump to? Doesn't seem so. Okay, that way goes up. This way goes down. Your friends are all floating. You will too, soon.
This is creepy as hell. Talking with the dead in this pyramid of an ancient god. You know, I would try to headshot them, but they don't have heads. Is that a torch? Whoops. Oh, it's automatic. Okay, I've continued on for a bit here. Let's read a little bit more of the history. I always forget where the hell it is. No, it's Merida. There we go. Okay, um, I did the German expedition. Let's look at the Lewis expedition. His mania reached a fever pitch. Between choking spells, he questioned the fact we worship only one god. On July 7th, 1931, Professor Edmund S. Lewis was carried out of the Yucatan jungle with two broken legs. Out of his seven porters, two survived. The gentleman adventurer was taken lightly by his colleagues, who considered Lewis the laughingstock of the archaeological community. Few could forget his prior flights of fancy regarding the underwater pyramids of Japan and the Great White Pyramid of China. After recovering from his catatonic state, thought by some to have been a ruse, Lewis babbled about agitating the sleep of mankind, and recounted blathering descriptions of a beast that stalked his party through the jungle. He claimed the creature was as large as a wardrobe and smelled of mycan oranges. A scant two years later, Lewis set out again into the Yucatan jungle. This time, he was sponsored by the New York Herald and Daily Telegraph. Lewis had with him a small army of 80. Two weeks into the expedition, Lewis got pneumonia and died. The two surviving porters died within a week, and examination found their lungs filled with Serena Vetterformans, a rare ragweed pollen. Eyewitness accounts from World War II cargo pilots report the existence of hundreds of pyramids in the... Zion? Is that how you pronounce it? Zion province of China? Hmm. It was rumored the 80 porters had in fact murdered Lewis. <laughs> oh. Died of pneumonia? Or murdered. Hmm. Perhaps they didn't like being in the jungle and wanted to go back. Okay, so we're supposed to go down, right? So I'm assuming I'm going up just to be able to go down afterwards? Because I believe it says... Yeah, reach lower catacombs is where we're supposed to go. So at the moment we're going up, but I guess we need to go up to go down. What a miserable place to spend eternity. Death is far worse than you can imagine. Hold on! I'll, I'll get back to you in a second, buddy. No, get, what? Stop. There's something out here. The fuck is that? This is not good. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh my god, can I even kill these things? Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> Holy shit. 
<laughs> Two months later, you wake up and gaze at the twinkling stars, wondering to yourself, where the hell is my roof? I don't even know if I can kill those things. Maybe I just need to run away, but I think they'll just follow me forever. Um, either way, I think I'm safe to just talk to this guy. Yeah, okay, it's above me. Alright. My name is Joaquim. I crawled here after I was wounded. While the others were fighting a group of zombies, a headless creature found me. After that, Muller turned back and left. I let one of those phantasms get too close to me. Those invincible phantasms are finally what convinced Muller we should turn back, I think. There are at least three on this level. You should turn back, too. Okay, yeah, I think they are invincible. I think those are the phantasms. The headless ones. They're blind, weak monsters, but I couldn't fight it off because I was hurt. Muller only brought the expedition this far, and then turned back. It took him almost a day, with seven deaths, to realize we were going the wrong way. Muller was looking for something to help Germany in the war. I don't know what it was, he never told us anything. Three of them were Claude, Hans, and Gunther. I can't remember the other four, or whether Barons made it out or not. Claude died on a lower level, okay, met him, I think. Hans died on a lower level, probably met him too, I'm not sure. I think Barons made it out when the group retreated, but I'm not sure. Muller was an idiot. Even I could tell this was the wrong way. <laughs> Great. Okay. All the runners competed, but only one received the prize. He pummeled himself and ran to obtain it. So, what do I do? Can I avoid them? Just avoid being seen? Let's go stealth. I don't know if this game really supports stealth. Nope, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm just gonna run. I know they're following me. Garen freaking T. Go, 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 go. Ow. Alien pipes. I, how does that help me? Yay, I have alien pipes. I can use that to fix a leak. Oh crap. I didn't mean to go here. Okay, I'm going down. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, uh, great. Pipes. What do I do with the pipes? Look at my inventory. Uh, yellow crystal seems to hum in your hand. You may now talk to the dead. Okay, so that's all that does. Alien pipes. The bizarre musical instrument vaguely reminds you of a book you once read as a child. Oh, that's the... Oh, alien pipes. As in, like, bagpipes, as in, like, an instrument. I, When it said pipes, I was thinking, like, am I going to be repairing a leaky drain or something? Okay. I think I have what I need. Oh, shit. Oh, God, no, they're following me. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know if I can go down this way. Did they see me? I don't think they saw me. Um, actually, I think I maybe can go down this way. Oh, no, no! Not if you do that. Whoops. Okay. 
There we go. Oh shit. Go, 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 go. I don't think this is the right way. I'm gonna die if I go down there. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. That's not the oh, wait, that is the way. Oh, no. That is the way I need to go, but I don't need to go down that way, if you know what I mean. I need to go down the ladder, not falling off. Okay, I got this. I think you can shoot the projectiles or something. Come on. Oh shit, I think I'm like out. Oh god, I'm like out of ammo. Um, oh no! This isn't the way, is it? Wait, 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 yes it is, yes it is. Okay, we're good. Oh god. Yeah, I should probably just run past it. Uh, where the hell did I, Where am I? I don't even know where I am anymore. Is this the right way or the wrong way? I think this is the right way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm safe now. Yep, here we go. We play the alien pipes. Okay, uh, which one shall I go down? I suppose it probably doesn't matter, does it? I think we're going down to the catacombs now, aren't we? Geronimo! Yep, catacombs. The tunnels beneath the pyramids seem to go on forever. You find what remains of your squad, you gather the nuclear device, and continue further underground. Okay, so, so the rest of my squad actually did make it here. Cool, because I haven't seen them so far. The pit. Your ammunition starts running low. The hole. You reach the lowest level. After arming the nuclear device with a 48-hour delay, you begin the return journey. You look out of the helicopter. The thermonuclear flash almost blinds you. Oh, wait, is this the end? No, that's the end! Damn, that was abrupt. I thought there'd be more to it. I, I wanted more time to uh, read the rest of the logs. Oh, well. Well, regardless, that was really cool. That was a neat little experience. I like the amount of world building that's in it. And the amount of detail available in your PDA to learn about what's happened. It, it makes it feel like... It was an actual mission and not just a kind of random thing. Because I get that feeling a lot with a lot of single-player adventures uh, made as mods for games. They often feel like they don't, they're not really coherent necessarily. It's kind of just like a bunch of stuff thrown into a level. I mean, I made levels myself for um, Half-Life 2, some single-player maps, and they had the same issue. I mean, the, looking back at them now, I'm, I'm quite sure they're very, very bad. But it's it's just a thing that often happens when you're messing around with a tool set. Is you end up putting some cool stuff in, you know, put some enemies here, put some ammo here, and stuff like that. But oftentimes it doesn't end up being a, a coherent experience. But this actually did feel like a co coherent experience. You know, I understood why I was there. There's a reason why I came there. There's a purpose to what I was doing. There's a beginning, there's a middle, and an end. It felt a bit too short. Having the ending be a bunch of uh, slides, basically, is... is It's a bit abrupt, but it actually feels like a coherent experience. It feels like an actual, albeit small world, that has been created. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Alright, so, I hope you enjoyed it as well, and thank you for watching.